I am taking 168 items to my local Plato's closet to see what they'll buy from me and how much I can earn from selling stale and never even listed inventory. So if you wanna see what I'm going to be taking there and what they take from me, then stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck All they really Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. And today I have kind of a different video. I've actually done a video like this before where I show you everything that I'm going to take to Plato's Closet. And in the corner, I let you know as I'm hauling the item, if Plato's Closet ended up taking the item or not. And I let you know by putting an X if they didn't take it or a check if they did end up taking it. Or maybe I say yes, no, I don't remember what I'll end up doing. But I thought this was a really cool way to just kind of share with you what kinds of items I'm trying to get rid of, even though I know I'm not going to make very much per item, but just to kind of move out some stuff. I am extremely motivated to sell all of this because I have made a challenge for myself that I will not go out and source new items until I sell 500 items that are currently in my home. So far today, I think it's been a little under 30 days and I have sold around 190 listings. So we're getting there, but there are some really big events coming up in June just great sourcing opportunities that I want to be able to you know go to and obviously it's garage sale season so I'm trying to get to that 500 number as quickly as possible and I figured by taking 168 items to Plato's closet that would help my cause I am 100% certain that they will not take every single item especially given some of the stuff that I'm bringing but you never know what they'll take especially depending on who the buyer is so here's how it's going to work I'm going to show you each item I'm going to go through them super fast because like I said there are 168 items and at the very end of the video I will share with you how much money I earned from selling these items at Play-Doh's and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the profit that I make from selling these items and I'm going to save that money until I'm ready to to go sourcing again so after I sell 500 listings and I'm just going to use the money that I earned from Play-Doh's back at Play-Doh's and the point of that will be kind of a series where I show you the money that I was able to earn from Play-Doh's and what kind of items I can source from Play-Doh's when I go back at a later date and then how much money I can earn from selling said items from Play-Doh's closet and then continue to reinvest that money back into more inventory at Play-Doh's and so on and so forth until it's just kind of ridiculous and no one cares anymore. So I thought that would be kind of interesting just to kind of see like how you could do at one buy, sell, trade store like Play-Doh's closet because maybe you're just starting off as a reseller. Maybe all you have is inventory from your own closet and maybe you're not super excited to list any of it because perhaps the brands are very similar to the brands that I'm going to be showing you today. And maybe it is a better use of your time to, you know, just kind of trade in stale inventory at Plato's Closet for better inventory. So I don't know. I just thought it'd be really interesting to kind of start from the beginning with getting rid of some stuff, take that money from selling that inventory and get new inventory and just see where it goes. Um, just to give you a heads up, I do live in a smaller, kind of more rural college town. And so my local Play-Dohs, while I can every once in a while find like pretty decent brands, like I've gotten, I'm trying to think of like stuff that I've gotten there recently. Like I've gotten Sorel boots. I've gotten like, you know, I've found like Lululemon, like, you know, the, what is it called? That jacket, the popular, whatever, you know what I'm talking about? Like they have Lululemon every once in a while. They have like decent stuff, but for the most part, it's a lot of like Old Navy, Forever 21, American Eagle, those kinds of brands. And that's what I have here. This is a hodgepodge of stuff that came from my own closet. I just got like three or four huge bags from a couple at my church who was just offloading a bunch of stuff. Some of this is stuff that I tried to sell in that first first Plato's Closet video that I did and didn't sell at that point. So there's a lot of different kinds of things here and we're going to go through it as quickly as possible. And like I said, I will be sharing with you in one of the corners whether or not Plato's Closet took it. And at the end, I will share with you how many items they took and how much money I made. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is just the sports bra. I got this from the friend at church, the couple who was just getting rid of stuff. This is Forever 21. It is, I believe, a size small and no it's a size extra small so we'll see if they take it i feel like if they do i'll get like 30 cents for it 
The next thing I had sent into Thread Up, they did um, they did accept it, but they weren't able to sell them. And they're just these wedges from Ann Klein, not a brand that I'm super excited about. I don't even remember where I got these. Um, they're a little bit more mature for Plato's Closet, but we'll see. They're in a size six and a half. This is something that I just got back from Thread Up because they weren't able to sell it. It is a pair of new with tags, Style & Co, mid-rise comfort waist, size medium, just like dress pants. They are not exciting whatsoever. I got them a long time ago in a wholesale box and just have not been able to move them. So we're going to see if Plato's Closet will take that. Every once in a while they take career type pieces, but I don't know. This is actually a shirt of mine that I just don't wear anymore. It's Jayku Factory and it's kind of like this denim chambray button up shirt with like this really delicate floral print and it's in a size extra small. I just don't really wear button up shirts anymore. I don't really have to get dressed up for work and I just wasn't reaching for it. So I sent it to Thread Up. They accepted it but could not sell it. So now it's going to go to Play-Doh's. Um, I'm 99% sure that Plato's will not accept this. I just got this back from ThreadUp because they were not able to sell it. It's Banana Republic. It's like this metallic gold three-fourths sleeve top. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that I probably could have and should have ironed. Not going to take the time. And for the things that do not sell at Plato's, I am just going to send them to thread up and I'll probably just send them in a bag where I don't pay for the stuff to get returned to me if they don't accept it. It's just kind of like, I'll send it there if I can make money off of it. Awesome. If not, I don't even care. They can deal with it at that point. This is a pair of White House Black Market um, Legacy Sleek Boot Cut Pants in a size 00R. So they are tiny. They are for like the office. Um... I don't know if they will take these, but these were at ThreadUp. ThreadUp could not sell them. And so I am going to let Plato's try and sell them. This is from my friends at church. It's just Gap. It's like a long sleeve men's just sweatshirt, just like a pullover sweatshirt. Um, if they take this, they'll probably give me like, I don't know, 80 cents for that most likely. This is J. Crew Factory. It's the authentic fleece, again, size small. It's got a pocket on the front. It's pretty similar to that last Gap one. You'll notice that the things from my friends, they have a lot of like Gap, Old Navy, a lot of like basics, that sort of thing. This is something that I sent into ThreadUp. I was ready to just get like 30 cents from it, but even that, it was not working. So it's just Old Navy. It's a size extra small. It's like, it's new with tags, but it retailed for... $14.94 and it is literally like a tube top. You guys, none of this stuff is super exciting and that's why I'm selling it because I don't want to list it myself. I just don't see the point. Um, I know I'll have to sit on these items for a long time or I don't know, you know, I just, I don't want to list these things. Um, so I know that this is not the most exciting haul, but hopefully it's exciting to see what they take and don't take. This is Gap Factory. It is, um, and you can tell that it's factory because it's got those three diamonds under the word Gap. It's a size small and it's just a short sleeve polo shirt. Really good for, you know, like people who have jobs and need to wear nicer um, tops for like the office or something and there are like three shirts that are identical to this so i'm not going to open them all up but this is another shirt it is the same thing but just in gray also get factory also in a size small and this is the same exact shirt this one i think it's black it's hard to tell with the lighting but same thing it is a short sleeve polo shirt this is a limited top. It's in a size extra small. So she wore, like the wife wore extra small. I mean, it's kind of pretty. It's not really my style, but it's got like, you know, like nature-y things on it. It's got, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, we'll see if they take it. It is definitely a bit more mature. And um, we do have some like consignment stores in my area that I love to go shopping at, but we don't have stores like Plato's Closet for a more mature woman. Like I know, um, like I think it's Style Encore or Clothes Mentor, like those are the kind of like more mature version of Plato's Closet. We don't have anything like that. We just have kind of local independently owned um, consignment stores and I don't think that these things would sell there. So that's why I'm just bringing all this stuff to Plato's Closet. This is a Calvin Klein black size medium, just, you know, spell out t-shirt. I feel like they would take this. I mean, we'll see. If they do, I'll get literally like 80 cents. But remember, I have 
168 items. So even if I get 80 cents for each thing, I mean, they won't take each thing, but for the majority of them, that's still a good amount of money. This is Mossimo. There's a lot of Target in here. It's a size extra small. This was from my friends at church. It is like this little mini dress, or maybe it's like knee length. It's got kind of this embroidery on the front. It's got kind of a boho look to it, like this little crochet um, racer back detail on the back. That's the skirt part. Just very lightweight. I mean, it is great for this season. A lot of the stuff that they gave me is perfect for the summer, so hopefully that alone will help it sell. This is from them as well, super basic tank top from Express. It's a size small. It is orange and gray striped. I kind of doubt that they will take it because it's so basic, but if they do, um, I don't know, it'll probably give me like 30 cents. This is Express as well, size small. It is a black and, I don't know, cream, white polo shirt. It's got, you know, the collar very preppy. I believe that this is a size small. Yep. So lots of polo type shirts. I feel like my Play-Dohs is always hurting for men's stuff. So hopefully they accept a lot of this men's stuff. This is Gap. It's a size small. It is just a cream long sleeve. Very, very basic. And that is kind of the name of the game here. This is a pair of champion pull on shorts in a size small. They are always hurting for athletic wear. Um, I don't know if this is like too basic for them, but hopefully they take those. This is a Gap. It's a size extra small and it's kind of this beige like, I don't know, there's like metallic details on it. It kind of looks like paint splattering. It's just a shirt. I don't know. I hope that they take it. Again, it's a little bit more mature. Is that a hole? That's a hole. So I'm going to take that off of the list because they're, you know, I don't even want to send that to them. And I feel like the goal is like to make sure that you're sending them stuff in good condition because if you are putting stuff in the bags that have like stains or rips or holes and stuff and they start to notice that, like they're going to really look super carefully at everything versus if everything is in really great condition, it's clean, it doesn't smell, it doesn't have like dog hair all over it, then they're more likely to just like go through your stuff quickly. But if they start finding like little flaws, then they're going to examine everything very thoroughly thoroughly and just kind of have less of a desire to take more of your stuff. This is and denim, which I think is just H&M and it's a size two. Um, it's just a pair of like army green pull on shorts. Hopefully they really, really need shorts. And so hopefully they will take those. This is express. It is a size extra small. It's got like this camo panel on front and it's like high low. The back is more sheer. Um, if they accept this, I will probably make like 30 cents, which I am fine with. This I believe is exhilaration, which is target. Again, it is a size extra small. It is just the spaghetti strap blue floral dress probably hits right above the knees. It's got like the smock detail on the back, elastic waist. And if they buy that from me i will probably earn less than a dollar this is a pair of loft petite like marissa pants these are um just like dress pants for the office if these don't get accepted i will probably go ahead and list these myself knowing full well that i'll sit on them for quite some time but um yeah i'll just try to sell those this is Loft Petite again. This is a size extra small and it is like this orange and white striped three fourth sleeve shirt. It's got a zipper detail on the back. Basic, but you know, that one I, I feel like they could take even though Loft is a little bit more mature of a brand. That's like a basic like, yeah, anyone could wear that. This is H&M. It is a size two. It's kind of hard to see. And it has this like tropical leaf print. It has this pleated front sleeveless. This could be really great for like weddings and stuff or just to wear casually. I don't know. I wouldn't really wear it, but it's okay. This is another very simple tank top, very similar to the other Express one that we saw. Again, um, orange and gray striped. It's a size extra small. It's got some metallic detail on it. If you can see some metallic threading throughout, um, 
will they take it? That's the question. And if they do, how much will I make? Like five cents? I don't know. I don't know if they're accepting stuff that basic. Um, this is Gap Factory again, size extra small. So most of the stuff from her is like an extra small or a small or even a petite. It's got like this um, kind of sheer, almost mesh like, you know, detail with like the circles and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Um, this is kind of cute. Like I feel like they would take this. This is Gap Factory. It's a size zero. It is a skirt, like a pencil skirt, but it's got a fun little print on it, like an embroidered print. Yeah, so I feel like that one's really cute, and I think that they would take that. This is, I want to say, Exhilaration again. Yep, size extra small, kind of similar to the other one that we saw. Um, again, with the spaghetti strap, it's got this little ruffle detail at the top, elastic waist, nice floral print, perfect summer dress. Hopefully they're really hurting for size extra small and small. This is exhilaration as well. This is a size small. It's this black cold shoulder, kind of like crochet lace, kind of boho-y top. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like the cold shoulder isn't super in anymore, but you never know. Um, I This probably isn't the season for this and I could see them not taking it just even based on seasonality. Um, but it's exhilaration again. It's a size extra small. It's like this Southwest print black and white open front cardigan. This one, honestly, if it doesn't sell, like if they don't accept it, I would not mind just listing it myself because, you know, sweaters, cardigans, even if they are like Target or something like that. Um, they're just a little bit more substantial than like, you know, those little express tank tops. So even if I only get like $15 for that by listing it, that's okay with me. This is another pair of shorts. The brand is Blue Asphalt. I don't remember where they sell this, but it's not like a super great brand. It is like more juniors. This is a size five, um, but they're just a pair of light wash shorts. Again, hopefully they are super duper hurting for shorts. This is a sleeveless blouse from Massimo. Massimo is again Target. It's a size extra small. It's got this big ruffle detail on the front. Perfect for the office, which is not really the Plato's Closet customer, but you know. This is BDG, which is Urban Outfitter, size extra small. It's this very like preppy collegiate looking lightweight um, cardigan. I actually really like this, but I don't know I haven't really been wearing cardigans very much but this would be really cute like tucked into um, like high-waisted jeans or something maybe if this doesn't sell I'll keep it myself I feel like that could be styled really cute all right so one bag is out and now I've got two more huge bags but you guys I'm like going through this pretty fast right like this is pretty good all right in this bag, we have a lot more stuff from the first time that I tried going to Play-Doh. So if you watched that first Play-Doh's video where I showed you everything that I took to Play-Doh's and sold, you may recognize some of these items because I tried taking them there. Also, I had stuff that I had put aside that first time because I was not trying to bring them summer stuff in the middle of winter. Um, so I don't know, maybe some of this stuff you haven't seen, but um, a lot of this I have been sitting on for quite some time. So this is the brand Indigo Rain. This is Juniors because this is a size one. Um, they're just kind of like darker wash distressed cuff shorts. These I got from a different friend at church. Um, she gives me a ton of stuff from like her whole family. So she's got a teenager and a lot of her teenager's clothes is in here like those shorts and these shorts. This is the brand Wallflower, another Junior's brand, and this is a size zero, but they have these little like, you know, rhinestone details, kind of reminiscent of like Miss Me or something. Um, cuffed, you know, lighter wash. They do definitely sell this brand at this Play-Doh, so hopefully they will take those. This is that brand SO, what does it stand for? I forget. But um, they sell this brand at Kohl's. This is the midi short. This is a size three. So definitely juniors in kind of this like pale pink color. There is some puffering, but we're going to just see if they'll take that anyway. I highly doubt it. Um, this, you guys, I don't know. It's Ka for her, Knight's Apparel. Um, 
but it's a size small. It's just a t-shirt for the college that we're in. So like, you know, I told you I live on a college campus basically and it's the U of I. So they do have a lot of U of I stuff there just because college kids are sometimes looking for, um, you know, clothes to rep their school. This might be from my brother, if I'm not mistaken. This is Forever 21 Men. It's a size extra small. And it is just this blue lightweight sweater with like this white, yeah. It's not really the season for it. So they may just not take it based off of the fact that it's not the right season, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> Well, like, where do I even get some of this stuff from? I don't know. I know where I got this from. I got this from a different friend at church. She gave me all this stuff from her family. Danny's Choice, never heard of it. Size medium. It's just this yellow elastic waist, like, skater skirt. Um, yeah. I, I'm i pretty sure I brought this the first time and it didn't sell. I'm pretty sure it won't sell this time either. But, you know, we just got to try. This is, um, I think, my brother's as well. It's just a Gap cotton cashmere long sleeve pullover sweater very basic um this is the brand modern Lux. i feel like this is target size small and it says need more weekends so you know just a little fun graphic tee super lightweight kind of insignificant we'll see what happens with that this i definitely brought there before they did not take it i'm not surprised it's zara it's old zara it's a size six and they're a pair of like mint colored skinny leg jeans so there's a lot like kind of not working in their favor there's like a small stain on the knee we're just gonna send it and yeah if they don't take it i'm just gonna send it into thread up and see what happens i'm pretty sure i got these in a thread up diy denim rescue box so it'll be funny to send them back and have them deal with it this is from a friend of mine at church i believe i don't know Actually, no, I think I got these in a men's thread up rescue box. Um, it's just American rag, which I know is sold at Macy's. It's probably sold at a few other stores as well. It's a size medium and it's kind of this like Henley t-shirt, just in a blue color, super duper basic. We have so many basics that I'm sending them and hopefully they are hurting for basics. This definitely came from a men's thread up rescue box. It is the brand Gildan. And it's a 2XL, just very cheap feeling, you know, short sleeve polo shirt. Like it feels like it wants to be a Nike dry fit shirt, but it's not. And for some reason, when I showed it to you, it looked like there was a big stain on the front. Is that? Yeah. Do you see that? That? It's hard to see in person. Okay. So I'm going to have to take that off the list. I feel like I was going to try and donate that the first time, but I didn't. But you see a lot more flaws in this light, so... This is from my friend, I believe, or it's from ThreadUp, I can't remember, but it's Brooklyn Calling NYC, size small. It is another Henley top in like this bluish gray color. Just super duper basic. And then, let's see. This is the brand Eventide. It's a size extra small. Um, I don't know where this came from, but it is, again, just a polo shirt. It's very, like, it's got that, like, washed and, like, worn in look, which I like. It's garment dyed. No idea where that brand is from. This is another American Rag shirt, size medium. Pretty sure that this was in that men's startup rescue box. And it's just a very basic t-shirt. It's got stripes on it. Super basic. I remember my husband got a pair of American rag jeans and actually really liked them. This is structure, slim fit. Again, it's like a black striped um, polo shirt. So lots of polos. Hopefully they're really looking for these right now. And I do feel like a lot of people are like going back to work, like even kids. And sometimes, you know, depending on the job, they need to have nicer stuff like that so hopefully there are people looking for that kind of stuff and there's a need this is the brand treasure and bond this is sold at like nordstrom rack um it's like an okay denim brand these are size 25 and they are the boyfriend jean they are distressed and cuffed at the bottom i feel like 
they would take these. If they don't, I will definitely just go ahead and list these myself. I just know like those kinds of like Nordstrom house brands, they don't do super well. Like they just kind of sit for a while. Um, I don't really know what this is. The brand is Stafford. It's a size small and it's just a very super duper basic blue t-shirt, like so basic. There is a pocket on the front, but still so, so, so basic. And we shall see if they, there's all these little things on it. And I just keep getting scared that they're holes, but they're not, I don't really know what they are. Um, this is an old Navy green long sleeve tunic, almost like a dress. It is a size small, very basic and insignificant. I don't remember where I got this from. I definitely did not pick it up myself. This is the brand, I don't know how to pronounce it, Bobo, Bobo, I don't know, size large. I definitely brought this there already before, but it wasn't really the season for it. It's just this like long maxi orange floral skirt. I'm hoping that now it is the season um, that they will buy that from me. This is a graphic t-shirt from Uniqlo. And it's got this big lion on the front. I think this is so cute. And honestly, stuff like this, if they do not buy it from me, I will go ahead and list it myself. But that's unique, Lil. I don't know where I got this. I think I got it from a friend of mine at church. Him giving me a ton of stuff kind of sparked the idea for me to go to Play-Dohs and give them a bunch of stuff because, you know, there was just a lot of stuff that was more basic and not really worth my time in terms of listing, but I knew it was worth money. And so, um, you know, I tried bringing that stuff to Play-Dohs and it did work out really well for me. I think the last time I went, I made like $90 or something. So this is Uniqlo again, and it's some sort of collaboration. They do a lot of collaborations with S-P-R-Z-N-Y. I don't know what that is. But it's like this interesting graphic of like these chairs. Um, this is also in a size extra large. Um, but I feel like this Plato's Closet does like graphic tees. So hopefully that will sell. This is just H&M. It's divided by H&M. And it's a size large. I don't know if this is women's or men's. Like, I don't know. I think it's men's, but it's very long. Yeah, I don't know. They'll figure it out. And they'll figure out if they want it or not. So there's that. Okay, so I have a rack of stuff that just needs to be ironed or needs to be steamed. And I hate steaming. Like, I don't want to steam it. Plus, on that rack was a ton of, like, button-up shirts. And I hate selling button-up shirts. Like, they just sit for so long for me and they don't sell for very much. So a lot of those I pulled and I'm going to try sending to Plato's Closet and see if they will buy them off of me. So here's the first of many. This is J. Crew. It is um, their two-ply, 100% cotton. It's a button-down. It's like this orange and white gingham shirt. Yeah. I mean, I know that they sell this kind of stuff at Plato's, so... I do really hope that they will just take a lot of these off of my hands. Some of these are literally just like my husband's old shirts or my brothers have given me stuff like that. But yeah, you're going to see a lot more of those. This is Ann Taylor, size medium. This was on that rack of stuff that needs to be steamed. I don't want to steam it. I don't really find it worth my time. And if it does not sell to Play-Dohs, I will send that to Thread Up. This I already tried bringing them and they did not accept it. It is Exhilaration, which is Target size medium. Just kind of this like maroon boho, like crochet lace. You know, it's got kind of like the bigger sleeves. Um, just a tunic. It's not really the season for this, but hopefully whoever is um, doing the buying tomorrow will be into that. Hopefully that person will be into all of this. This is Express. It is a size small. It is a black peplum tank. Peplum, not super in right now, but you know, we'll just, we'll give it a shot. I don't know where that came from. Here's some more button up shirts, people. Get ready. So this is Thompson Shirtings for J. Crew Factory. You know, sometimes J. Crew does like these collaboration with, um, some like specialty name brands. I don't know. This is just a blue and white button up shirt in a size large. 
this is definitely a lot more formal than the kind of stuff they usually have at this play-dohs but we're gonna we're gonna give it a try i really should like put a little effort into folding this like somewhat nicely but dear god this is why i hate this kind of stuff is because it's such a pain to keep it in nice shape okay this is another button down shirt this is express i have such a hard time selling express button down shirts it is a uh, size extra large it's like maroon and white striped this one i don't know this one is just funky in terms of like the way that it feels it does not feel good it feels really cheap this i'm like 99 percent sure that i got in a men's thread up rescue box so that is gonna go to play-dohs this i think i picked up myself i just don't want to deal with it it's jacob factory summer plaid size small actually i'm fairly certain my brother gave this to me now that i think about it yeah a lot of the smaller stuff is either from him or my friend from church but if it's in this bag i think it's from my brother if it's a size small and it's stuff that he gave me a long time ago i feel like they will take this because it's more of like that casual button up or button down shirt oh okay so let's keep going but i just had to switch out the bags that i'm putting the stuff in this is calvin klein size medium body fit it's like a gray kind of like i don't know you can see there's like a small pattern on it it's got pockets on both sides um, I really hate this shirt, so <laughs> I really hope they take it because I don't ever want to see it again. This, I believe, is from my brother. It is Express. It is size extra small for men, and it's like this blue, kind of like, you can see the print. Um, yeah, it's definitely more casual, so I hope they take it. There's that, and I think it's more of like a slim fit, too. This is a Love Conquers Hate pullover hoodie. You can see the hood there. It's a nice shirt or a nice top. I thought I saw a hole, but it's not a hole. Um, okay, we're getting back to stuff that like I think I brought them before and I don't know. Or okay, so this I think I was gonna list, and I was like, I don't wanna list this. <laughs> it's fighting a line eye again for the town that we live in it's just like a pink t-shirt i don't even think that the size is on there which i feel like automatically means they will not accept it but we're just gonna try i don't know why i have this this is like a fold over midi or maxi skirt it's from j crew factory it's old j crew and it's old size large but it's just this it's a midi skirt so it's just this see i don't want to list this so again if it does not sell to play-dohs if they don't take it off my hands i am going to send that into thread up this is a pair of express jeans i don't do well with their jeans it's the super skinny mid-rise and like this dark wash in a size zero and i don't know where i got these i yeah i'm not quite sure i don't think that i got these in a thread up rescue box i, I don't know but we're going to see if they'll take those off my hands. These are a J. Crew like dress pants. They're the mini style in a size six. They're pink <laughs> and they seem to be cropped or like ankle length. I don't think that they'll take these, but you never know. I have definitely bought J. Crew pants from there before to resell, but those were like J. Crew collection. Um, this is H&M. It's divided. I actually contemplated selling these myself. They're size six because they're kind of trendy. Like they have the button fly and they're, they appear to be at least mid-waisted, if not high-waisted. They're kind of more of like a mom jean um, and they're definitely like broken in. I don't know. And then I don't like even in the back, you can kind of see there's like a hole starting to appear there. I, I highly doubt that they'll take these. If they don't, I will just go ahead and list them myself. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure these came to me in a thread up DIY denim rescue box. This is another pair of express jeans. This is the skinny mid-rise jean in a size 0R. More of like a medium wash on this one. 
And I also have all these pants underneath the rack of stuff that needs to get steamed. And the pants that are underneath that also need to get steamed, this being one of them. So I did not want to steam them and therefore uh, they're gonna go <laughs> to thread up. But honestly, like these express jeans, if they don't sell to thread up, I'll probably go ahead and list them because I'm sure that they will sell and at least for, I'd say like at least $20, right? Um, I just don't think that they'll sell quickly. This is a pair of J. Crew Factory dress pants in a size zero. Um, just gray, like, yeah, just gray work pants. Perfect for the office. I don't know how these were put in my possession. Um, this is a Lane Bryant skirt in a size 16. I do think that I picked this up at that local consignment store for under a dollar. I sent it into thread up. It did not sell. I don't know. I have the hardest time selling Lane Bryant on my online reselling platforms. And so I'm going to, you know, give Plato's first dibs at that. And I know they're always hurting for plus size inventory too. This is the brand Airy, which they love. And it's a size small. It's just a pair of like pull on cream kind of crochet lace hem shorts. So I am pretty certain that they will take those. This is like that same J. Crew factory skirt, but in black. And this is an extra large. This one isn't quite as long. So it like hits right at the knee. I don't know who needs this in their life. I don't know. I, again, I don't know how these came to be in my possession, but here they are. And then let's see, I'll save these for a little bit. I have a few things in here that I actually have listed but I don't think that they're going to sell. So I'm just going to send them into Play-Dohs and see if they can sell them. So for example, I've got a bunch of these like new in the packaging leggings. The brand is Sofra. I don't know, like this. This is the brand. There's no like size on them. The size, it says free. I feel like it's that garbage, like one size fits all type situation. So I have, oh, this one it has like fleece lining. But there's like this gray one, there's this blue one, there's this brown pair, and then there is another kind of grayish pair. Greenish? I don't know. So I'm going to see if they'll take these off my hands, and if so, I'll just delete them from my inventory. This is also in my inventory. I got these in a, I think my very first thread up shoe rescue box. I was like, I think two years ago. Like, I've had these for such a long time. The brand is Brash. I don't remember where you can pick this brand up, but um, you see it a lot like at thrift stores and stuff. It's not a very high-end brand whatsoever, but um, they're just these crazy kind of like straw woven, um, you know, fabric upper wedges. So we'll see if they take these. These are a size nine and a half. Um, let's see, I'll just keep these down here for now. And then I have some more stuff from like thread up rescue boxes in here. So this is a pair of J. Crew heels and they're actually like pretty nice. Um, these came in my last thread up shoe rescue box. They were made in Italy and they're a size seven and a half. The reason why I'm gonna see if Play-Dohs will take them off of me is because they have ankle straps, but one shoe had them and one shoe did not. So. Um, I just took the ankle strap off of the shoe that had it, and hopefully they'll just accept it like this as like a Dior say heel. Cross my fingers. We'll see what happens. Um, these came in that thread up rescue box. These were awful. They were like Tommy Hilfiger suede. I don't even think they're real suede. Um, I don't know, like purplish brown pumps. We'll see. We'll see if they take these off my hands. I do not want to list these. They are a size six and there's like some weird gunk on them. I don't know. I tried very like half-heartedly, you know, cleaning them and I got bored. So I was like, I'm, I don't care. These actually I bought on Poshmark to wear, but they are the most uncomfortable shoes I have ever owned in my entire life. They're in a size five. They're the brand ASOS and they're just like basically hard pieces of plastic. Like... I thought they were gonna be like comfortable slides like what um 
like I have like Adidas slides or something. They are not. These are awful. So I have them listed, but I would rather really not sell these to any human being myself, like on Poshmark or something, without them being able to try them on. Because you cannot feel how uncomfortable these are. So I would much rather sell them to like a Play-Dohs. And that way, if people at Play-Dohs try them on, they can see for themselves that they're super uncomfortable. And if they choose to buy them anyway, that's on them. So um, at, these are listed, but if they... Um, you know, if Plato's takes them, then I'll just remove them from my platforms. This is a pair of Forever 21 lace-up ankle booties with like a stacked heel. They're pretty cute, but I mean, Forever 21 shoes just don't really sell. However, I really don't think that Plato's is going to take these because I cannot find the size on these anywhere. Hopefully they can, but they probably won't be able to either. And therefore they will not take them from me and I will be sad. This is Forever 21 as well. They're like these yellow bow espadrille wedges. Um, these are a size seven. These came to me in a Thread of Rescue box. And these Stuart Weitzman's came to me in a Thread of Rescue box. They are silver, metallic, like probably 90s. I don't know, not my jam. Um, they are also, I think, missing the size. So I don't know. If, oh no, there's seven. It says right up. It says right there. I don't know. Stuart Weitzman's just don't sell well for me to begin with anyway. So to add that they are that crazy silver metallic, no, not my thing. All right. We are on our last bag. I'm literally going as fast as I can, but um, we're almost done here, people. We're going back to mainly stuff that um, my friends, you know, that couple just very recently gave me, okay? So this is going back to them. Um, so this is all stuff I got for free. The brand on these pants is Sans Sauchi. Never heard of it, never seen it. It's a size small. They're just this like black and white, very graphic, like pull on, comfortable pants they do have an ankle zip so there's that i feel like they would take these right like why not they're super lightweight um this is not the right season to be giving them this but we're just gonna see they say that they take things no matter the season that's a lie new york and company size extra small it is a brown puffer vest with a faux fur lined hood so there's that. Yeah, I mean, they probably won't take it. And that's fine. Um, this is actually like kind of cute. This is exhilaration. It's a size extra small. It's like this steel gray velvet, like crushed velvet romper. I just, for whatever reason, cannot sell rompers to save my life. So I'm gonna just give that to them. And then there's like a bunch of pencil skirts in here. So get ready. This is H&M size four. It's like this pale pink pencil skirt. This definitely is not a four. H&M tends to run pretty small. Like I feel like that's more of a zero, but that's just me. Again, not the season for this, but I'm going to send it anyway. This is Massimo, which is Target size extra small. It's like this cable knit sweater, three fourth sleeve. It's like this cream with um, gray sleeves. It's actually really pretty. And honestly, if they don't accept it, I will probably um, either list it myself or try sending it again when we get closer to fall. This is another pencil skirt. It is from Express. It has like this belt detail on the front. Very like satiny. Yep. That I think was a size zero if I didn't say so already. This is Loft, it's a size small. It is like a tan and orange lightweight cardigan, super, super lightweight. This is BDG, which again is um, Urban Outfitter, size extra small. And it's like this thermal top, kind of, but um, it's just red and white striped. I actually remember when they had these, I had bought a few for myself as well and I actually, really enjoyed wearing them but I know that they're super old um this is another pencil skirt kind of like a giraffe print the limited size zero Ooh, it's pretty crazy not giraffe did I say giraffe I meant zebra like a zebra print this is another pencil skirt it is just gray it is H&M size four again which means it's like a double zero um 
This is a tank top by American Eagle, and it's got like this fun little print on the front. Um, you can see American Eagle size extra small. They do sell a lot of American Eagle. This is just so basic. I'm wondering if they'll take that. And this is basically the same tank with a different print. You can see she liked the zebra print. <laughs> um, it's showing up in a lot of her clothes. So there's another tank. Another pencil skirt. This is Forever 21. This is tweed. It's a size small. This is like an old Forever 21 tag. It's got that cute belt though on the front. I feel like I owned this same pencil skirt, to be honest with you. This is another cardigan in like a purple color from Marona, size extra small. Um, open front, pockets on the side. We've already seen something very similar to this from her. This is a pair of jeans. This is Mossimo. They're the mid-rise jegging and they are a size zero. Kind of a darker wash with some distressed detail, cuffed at the bottom. Very basic. Um, I'm curious to see if they will take skinny jeans or if they will also declare that skinny jeans are dead. Who knows? This is a faux fur vest by Rue 21. They are a size small, medium, just, you know, very, very fake fur vest. Not the season, don't care. I'm fairly certain I own this exact top from BDG. So this is Urban Outfitters. It's like the long sleeve, you know, this sort of thing. Like 99% sure that I own this as well. So there you go. Um, hopefully they will be as excited about that as I was. This is Massimo again, mid-rise jogging, but these are black. These are a size zero or 25 short. Very basic. Is that a flaw? Yeah, there's some sort of little, th I think I scratched it off. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. If I even get like a dollar for these, I am cool with it. This is a pair of shorts from Gap Factory. They kind of feel like maybe they're made out of something decent. I don't know. Plus, okay, they're like from, yeah, they're made out of 55% linen. Um, they're from 2011. So <laughs> hopefully they don't check the tag very carefully, but I'm sure that they will. I'm sure that they won't take these. If they don't take those, I'll probably just go ahead and list them because of the linen. This is the brand, if it were me in a size extra small, this is like, I don't know, like Junior's Department of like Macy's or something. Just like a Fair Isle kind of fleecy pair of leggings. This is absolutely not the season for these. Don't care. This is a pair of the limited jeans. I guess maybe that's the style, six, seven, eight. I don't know. And they are a size zero. They're in this like weird tan color. I don't, I don't get this color. I'm sure it was a thing many, many, many years ago. This is a dress. I want to say it's from Forever 21. Yep. And it's a size small. This is like, I don't know, you can wear this to like weddings and stuff. It's like this pale pink with this black block at the bottom. Um, this is Old Navy. It is just like a raglan sleeve sweatshirt, like a pullover sweatshirt, super basic. It's a size small. So there's that. Yeah, didn't want to come out of the bag. This is, I believe this is a woman's shirt, but it's J. Crew Factory. It's a size extra, extra small. And it's so lightweight, but it's just like this button up shirt. I think it's called like the perfect shirt. Perfect for the summer. This is an old navy men's tank top in a size small. It's got like palm leaves on it. I don't know. Perfect for summer. Um, if they buy it from me, I'll probably make like, I don't know, eight cents or something. <laughs> this is American Eagle. Um, it's a size small. And it's got this like very, you know, summery print on the front. Just this graphic of like a girl on, an, on a hammock with like palm trees behind her. It's kind of serene. This is an express dress in a size small. It's got like a red top or like a red panel up here. And then 
kind of like tan and white stripes. Nice and simple. Hopefully they will take that. So you guys, honestly, like a lot of this stuff, I just would not be surprised if they didn't take it from me. Um, and that's okay. This, okay, so now we're getting back into things that I tried sending them the first time and they they were not having it. So <laughs> a lot of basics. This is Old Navy, size extra small. It is like active wear, so I'm hoping that they'll take it based on that, but it doesn't feel like active wear. Like it's not like that dry fit material or anything. This is a pair of what, okay, this is still that same friend, like the couple Mossimo size two, just kind of like, ooh, like dressy trouser shorts. Is that a thing? Like, can you wear those to the office? I don't understand. Okay, but back to like old stuff now for real. This is another old Navy active wear tank in a size extra small. The problem too is that my friends are all pretty small. So it's just a lot of really small sizes in here. Um, this is a dress by the brand Premise, which I don't know where you buy that brand. I think they sell it at like TJ Maxx and stuff. Um, I do believe I tried sending this into ThreadUp and they didn't take it, but it's a size extra small, just a V-neck. It's got pockets. It's very simple and plain. I would be shocked if they accepted this, but who knows? This is American Eagle. It's kind of like, oh, it's like a burnout t-shirt in like this orangish color. It's coming across much paler and much milder on the camera than it is in person. Because in person, it's kind of like fluorescent. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, This is a Gap Factory shirt in a size extra small it is purple oh no it's a tank top with like a crochet lace top super basic super old this is okay get ready for like so much loft like more loft than you've ever seen in your life so this is live love loft it's a size extra small it's like a periwinkle blue just kind of like round neck very basic t-shirt so basic that i'm fairly certain they will not accept it but we will see this is loft um, size small, just a purple long sleeve shirt. This is definitely like much older of a style. I had a friend maybe like a year and a half ago give me so much stuff for free and a lot of this was in there. Um, she loved loft, just a basic gray t-shirt. This is the kind of stuff, again, if they don't take it, I'm gonna just send it into thread up and hopefully they'll accept it and sell it for me and give me like 30 cent payouts, but that's okay. This is loft again, size extra small. It is just a blue, very light blue tank top. This is Reebok and it's a size small, just like basic um, activewear top. Again, they are always looking for activewear, so hopefully they will accept this and Give me a small amount for that. This is a brownish Forever 21 top in a size medium. Super wrinkled. I'm not going to take the time to steam it and stuff, but um, very basic. Another loft. This is size extra small. It's like a gray striped three-fourth sleeve pleated top. The crazy thing is, I'm just like trying to think, like my friend that gave me this stuff, I just don't even remember wh her wearing that much loft. Like, I don't know. This is Rue 21, size small. It's like this green studded utility vest. Like it's got, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is INC, which is International Concepts, which is a Macy's house brand. It's a size medium. It is this maroon top, enough said. This is Pink Rose, which is like a junior's line. I feel like they sell this at Macy's, I wanna say, I'm not sure. Is that a big old stain on the bottom? No, I don't think so. There is some like, not pilling, but something. Like what is that right there? That is, it's like a stain, but you can't see it in person. That's okay, I'll get rid of it. Um, this is the brand True Self. It's a size small. This 
obviously is like some kind of juniors brand thing but i mean it kind of has like that boho look with like this embroidery it's got a lot going on it's got too much going on it's got way too many ideas in one shirt but i feel like my play-dohs has a lot of this kind of stuff so maybe they'll take it we're back to some more loft this is a size small it is just this would you call this mauve i don't know what this color is kind of purpley just a very 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 basic top um another loft top this is a medium petite it is like this white and gray striped popover you could wear this to the office it's actually very lightweight you could wear it in the summer this is loft it is a size small it is very basic it is blue it is short sleeve you could wear it in the summer this is loft it's the sun washed tee in a size small i yeah it's kind of like more of a burnout material it's got that like kind of scoopy v-neck this bag is about to overflow this is loft <laughs> i told you like so much loft size extra small again with kind of like the crochet lace detail at the top of the tank um okay maybe this is not loft it is not it is gap factory again it's a u.s small it's like this black floral tank top this is a pair of i think these are like pj shorts by the brand rampage they are a size medium with this little guy i don't know i feel like if those do not sell my daughter will wear those and she'll just pull the drawstring this is um it just says balance collection i think it's that gaim brand like that yoga brand size small it's not like a very good brand whatsoever but kind of active wary. It's got this interesting crisscross at the top, probably from TJ Maxx or something like that. Okay, let's see. I think that bag is done for. I'll start putting stuff in this bag, but you guys, we're almost done. And then the next clip that you'll see is of me at the Play-Dohs and me telling you how much I actually made. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these shoes at the bottom so that I don't crush the clothes. All right, so this is new, not with tags, but it's got like the stickers on it. Again, it's that So brand, it's a size extra small. It's such a basic, just like gray tank top. Another loft piece, this one's new with tags though. <laughs> it retailed for $24.50, size small, just another basic shirt. Um. This is a bodysuit, and it is by the brand Energetics. It's a size extra small. I, I don't even know where that's from. This is Acura Chicago. I'm like 99% certain that there's no size tag on this, which is annoying. But it's this interesting, like, printed dress, but the back is, like, completely this, like, black mesh material. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I think I got that at the local consignment store for under a dollar, and then I hauled it, and I was like, why? Why did I get this? This is LOD. I think you get this at, like, TJ Maxx. Size small, pink shell, like, pink tank. It's got, like, a cutout on the back. It's got this little detail on the sleeve. I don't know. I, I've seen this brand at this Play-Doh, so hopefully they'll take it. This is... I don't know where this came from. It's new with tags. The brand is, like, AM, PM. This is what it's supposed to look like but this is what it looks like in person. I don't even know where the top is. Okay, here we go. But I think it's like a swimsuit cover, so you can just like wear it on vacation or at the pool. This this is like an okay loft top. Like, I kind of like this one. It's just like this black and white graphic tee, and it's kind of oversized. This is a size medium. It's got a pocket on the front. I can get behind this one. The other ones are just way too basic. So that one, for example, if it doesn't sell, or like if Play-Dohs doesn't take it, I will probably list it. This is Max Studio. It's a size extra small. Just, oh, why, 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 why? Um, This is Loft, size small. It is like a brown scoop neck shirt. Um, 
this is Pink Republic. Again, just a junior's brand. This is um, an extra small. It's like this lace-up tank. It appears to be new. Forever 21, size medium. It's like this black and kind of beige t-shirt with a pocket on the front. Very lightweight, kind of oversized. Um, this is that same So brand, size extra, extra small. It's got this kind of like gathered detail, like knotted detail on the front. They're trying. This is the brand Mercer and Madison. Never heard of it. Again, it seems very much like it's probably a TJ Maxx type brand. Super basic V-neck blue t-shirt. I can already hear it now, like at the end when, you know, they tell you that they're done looking at your stuff. Same brand, basically same shirt, just different color. Um, they try to like give you an explanation as to like why they didn't take certain things. And I just want to be like, no explanation necessary. <laughs> like, I get it. It's fine. <laughs> This is the brand IZ Buyer, size small. I don't know. It's this. It's got kind of this detail again at the, no, it's just, yeah. Yeah, there's some sort of like ruche detail. I don't know. And it's got this weird thing on the shoulder. The thing that drives me crazy is that this loft person, my loft friend, they have so much money, like so much money. They're very rich, but this is the kind of stuff that they buy. Maybe that's why they're rich, because they just shop at Loft, but like filthy rich. Okay, this is like a very bright Under Armour t-shirt, Superman on the front, size small, but that's pretty cool. Like I do admire people who have a ton of money who just like don't care about clothes and stuff. Like they just care about other things. But, like for example, she is very giving and very generous with her money, which I love. Um, she does not care what they wear. Forever 21, size medium. It's like just this very blue or a very light blue top with a zipper on the back. It's like kind of dressy. I don't know. This is another pair of wallflower shorts, a very dark wash. Kind of high-waisted, I think. I, they're probably like a zero. They are the sassy fit. If you're feeling sassy, they're size zero. Um, this is a champion shirt. I don't know. I feel like this could be vintage or kind of cool. It's a size medium. I don't know. I don't know what vintage t-shirts are. It's like a PE t-shirt. <laughs> this I actually got from a friend of mine at church. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is like a PE t-shirt from her school. It's not single stitch or anything, but, um, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool and just kind of funny. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's not single stitch. I thought for a second it was. Um, but yeah, I highly doubt that they'll take that, but maybe if not, I'll just try to sell it myself. I feel like that's a Depop type thing, but I'm not on Depop and I'm not looking to add any more, uh, platforms to my plate. This is Pink Rose again, size extra small. It's called the Cozy Tee, just a very basic gray and white striped Cozy Tee, as the name suggests. This is TNA, which is an Aritzia brand, but it is the classic fit, just very basic, boring V-neck t-shirt. It would be cute, like tucked into like um, jeans or something, size small. That's like my go-to, I guess, is just tuck your, tuck your shirt into your jeans. Um, this is absolutely not gonna sell to Play-Dohs, but it's Jones New York, size medium. It's just like a gray t-shirt. I mean, this would have a hard time being sold at like a Goodwill. I don't even know why I have that. I don't know where that came from. This is Steve Madden. I don't know if you know this, but they make clothes with like metallic logos on the inside. Size small. It is a tank top. It has rhinestone buttons. There's that. And I think there's more where that came from. But like, you guys, I think these are like the last three things. Okay. We are getting there. I actually really feel like they'll take this. I hope that they do. It's the brand Japna. I've seen them take this before, size extra small. This is like a floral cropped flowy shirt. It's kind of cottage corey, right? I don't know. Um, I think this is that like Steve Madden. Oh no, this is the brand Diva. It's a size medium racer back tank. Um, 
and then another pair of lounge shorts by Gilly Hicks, size medium. This was a brand that was part of like, I believe the Abercrombie family, but they are no more. And then we'll end with these two very basic H&M size small crop t-shirts. Um, I do hope that these get so or get accepted they have like this interesting knotted detail at the front bottom um if it doesn't sell to play-dohs though if they don't accept it i'll probably just go ahead and list these myself as like a lot or something this is h m as well size small this is more of like an ivory color holy cow that's it my phone says an hour and six minutes right now obviously i'm going to edit some stuff down but this haul portion was long but it came out to like 164 items because i think i threw three things that i found had stains when looking at it with my ring light so 164 items we got through those things pretty fast and the next clip that you'll see is me at play-dohs and you'll be able to see how many things they accepted and how much i made on those items so I forgot to wrap up the video and tell you what happened as far as how many pieces they took and how much money I made. So I, let's see, they took 53 items and they gave me a total of $119.93, something like that. So basically $120 which I was pretty happy with because you guys saw the state of the items that I was bringing them. I was not bringing them top shelf uh, stuff. So I am more than halfway to my goal of selling 500 items so that I can go thrifting again. This current week that we're in was not a very good week. I did not move out many pieces, but um, we're gonna, you know, just keep doing what we can to get to that 500. I have plans on running some kind of big sale, you know, maybe in the last week of May so that I can have my 500 sold listings before this big like pop-up consignment store takes place in my area because I really want to shop it. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And I have another video very similar to this that I did, I don't know, like a few months ago. And I'll link that down in the description below and I'll have it up in the cards too. So if you enjoyed this video, you can watch more like it. Um, another couple channels that do video similar to this um riles thrifted she does really great like um she'll go to the bins and get a bunch of stuff to sell at plato's closet so she'll show you exactly what she's taking and let you know how much money she earned um nick i will link his channel down below as well as well as riles thrifted um he's done some really cool videos like this and Jack Valentine. Jack from Jack Valentine has done some uh, cool Plato's Closet type videos as well. So if you really enjoy this kind of stuff, I'll have some videos linked down below for you to watch. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you want more content like this in your life, then definitely make sure that you hit subscribe. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.